Hey guys, Karma Mohan here. I just wrapped up a long 12 hour day. And I just had a few words that I feel like I wanted to express to you guys. I definitely want to say thank you guys for all the love and support. I've been getting a lot of people reaching out to me and telling me, hey Carmen, you know, I want to become an entrepreneur. I want to ditch my nine to five. How do I do that? And I would like to tell them that I have a secret recipe for them or that I have an exact structure or style for them. See, but the thing is entrepreneurship doesn't really work like that. You have to understand whether or not you're actually built for entrepreneurship. Some of us may not be built for entrepreneurship. What does that mean? What does entrepreneurship entail? It means investing in yourself when no one else wants to invest in you. It means believing in yourself taking all the money that you actually have or taking that risk on that dollar amount that you're going to invest in yourself. Are you willing to take that much of a risk? Are you willing to take that risk and then work as hard as you can and hope it'll work out? Because that's what investments are. When we invest our money, we hope that we'll get a return on an investment. We can invest it a little bit more strategically and know that we'll get a return on our investment. But there's a lot when it comes to entrepreneurship. Can we work? Another thing we have to realize or figure out, can we work on our own without someone telling us what to do? Can we build our own curriculums? Can we plan out our day-to-day -day work and figure out, well, this is what I have to get done today and next week and for the upcoming month? Can we stay disciplined to follow our schedules? When you're, not, when you're not punching in a clock from nine to five, you have to be able to stay disciplined to put that work in. And if you think you're gonna leave your day job from your nine to five and work less as an entrepreneur because you make your own schedules, you're very wrong. A lot of the times entrepreneurs have to work more and harder because they have a lot more responsibility on their shoulders. They're building a company from the ground up. So it's okay for you to want the perks because there are perks that do come with it. It's not all bad. But for you to think that you're just going to get those perks given to you in your hand, it doesn't work like that. In order to be a successful entrepreneur, you really have to break yourself down and know do you have the qualities and traits that make up an entrepreneur, a successful entrepreneur. There are a lot of people screaming the word entrepreneur here and there that have side hustles from their job. Are they successful? Are they generating income from their entrepreneurship? Or are they just spending their money just to say that they're an entrepreneur? Because there's many people that are doing that. I'm, I'm filming this video today just so that you guys can open up your own minds and your own thoughts. Because while entrepreneurship, I believe, is the way to go, I do understand that not everyone is going to be built for it. Not everyone is going to be able to take those risks put in that work, and really build something from the ground up. Not only that, you could be able to have the work ethic and the ambition. But now what happens after that? Are you gonna still have the same hunger to build your company after two years of failing? What about after three? Some of you may not know me and some of you may. My name is Carmen Mohan, I'm 28 years old. I've been investing in businesses since I was 21 years old. I did my first business investment at 21 years old and I invested $20,000. It took me a long time to save that money, about two years, and I failed. I lost it all in three months. So when I say these things to you, I'm not saying it from open space. I'm saying it coming from a place where I took tremendous losses and wanted to give up and had to go back to the vision board and rewrite out my visions and my goals. So I want you to figure out if this is what's worth it for you. Because you can save yourself time and energy and money if it's not what's worth it. It was something in me that I understood I was a little bit different than everyone else. People will call me a hustler. People will call me a go-getter. I didn't understand what that meant until I started embarking on to building my own businesses. I also thought it was easy. I also thought I was gonna get all perks. And it's not all perks. Systems change, things change. Look at us now, it's 2018. Social media is big now. You think when I was, tw I'm 28 now, you think when I was 21, I knew 
social media is gonna be this big? No, nobody did. But we had to position ourselves with the changes that were coming up. Now the new thing is branding yourself and putting out content and film and videos. If you think I like doing any of that shit, no, I don't. I absolutely positively hate doing videos. However, it's not up to me what the times change with. I have to understand that as an entrepreneur building my business in this day and age, I need to keep up with what's trending. However, and still have my own voice. I have to turn my passion and what I want to do and what I've learned from so many mistakes and give that value on to others. Because if I don't give that value on to others and I hold it in and I hold it to myself, what am I going to do with that? It's just going to be what? Wasted value. The rule of thumb in today's theory is that you give out your content, you give out your value. And the more you help others, the more you help yourself indirectly and you don't even notice it. So now, I have to take on that role. I'm only using my story to give you an example. Because if I did it, so can you. So, I'm going to wrap up today's video. It's been a long day. Just had a couple words to get off my chest. Uh, if you guys want to find out more about me or read my story, I am CarmenMohan.com. My name is Carmen Mohan. 28 years old you can google me you can go through my youtube channel uh, listen to some videos a little bit about me i have a book coming in the summer of 2018 and you can hear my whole life story it's not pretty but it's real so hope you guys tune in and 